Hi guys, I'm Darren and in this video we're going to be adding Rates and Expo in Ethos. Now you may think that Rates and Expo are a really simple thing to be talking about, but a lot of people are coming over to Ethos from other radio systems like Futaba and Spectrum, where Rates and Expo are on their own screen and hidden away in a different menu somewhere. That's not the case with Ethos, we actually edit them directly in the mixer. So what I'm going to do is take you through the process and we're going to set up some Rates and Expo right now. So here we have a basic model. This is just set up straight from the wizard. What we're going to do is just click into the uh, model menu and go straight into the mixer. And you can see here, this is a standard five channel mixer with twin ailerons. So there's nothing special going on here at all. So if I click into the aileron, so long press and it will go to the edit, you can see that this is, again, just a standard linear uh, two channel aileron and the two output channels are set up down here. Now, a lot of times we may want to add rates or expo. So how do we do that in EFOS? As I mentioned in the intro, you wouldn't even do it on the screen with a system like Spectrum. So how do we go about doing it? So it's quite simple really. We go down to this curve area and change the type to expo. And then we just set how much expo we want. So if you want 30% expo, that's it, all done. You can see the curve has changed. And if we move the stick, we get a bit less movement in the middle now and more movement towards the outside. So there you go. That is the basics of expo. But we can take it a step further. What if you wanted to add rates as well? Let's say, for example, this is on some mental 3D plane where you have huge amounts of throw, but you want to dial it down for some more leisurely flights. So the way to do it, I usually keep the first weights as 100%. So what we'll do is change our expo to the expo we want for 100%. So I'm going to set it to a very high value like 80. So you can see in the middle, it's now very dull. And as you go to the outside, it gets a hell of a lot of movement. So that's our 100% uh, rates. So to add another set of weights or rates, you click this add new weight button. And what that does is add this extra line in. And what we're going to do is set up a switch. So we're automatically in the right place. So we just click the button and we're just going to put the switch where we want mid rates. So I'm going to put SE in the middle. So we'll return out of that. And then we're going to set how much throw we want for our mid rates. So let's say we only want 60% throw. And now again, we can add a new curve for our expo. We can set the switch position to the middle for um, SD again. And with this much throw, we don't need so much expo. So let's say we want it around, I don't know, 55. And finally, we'll add some low rates. Why not? So we'll add our, our new rates, click the button, put the switch in the position you want for the low rates. And we'll set these up at maybe 40% throw. So these are a much, much reduced amount of throw. So you can see here how much, how much throw we've got. And again, we'll pop back up to the curves, add a new curve, put the switch position for low rates, and we'll set the curve type as an expo curve, and we'll set the rates to maybe uh, 30%. I've just noticed that I've gone the wrong way with the mid rates, so let me address that. It should be 55, not minus 55. So there we go. Now you can see when I flip the rate switch, we not only have three different sets of rates, but also three different sets of expo. So we have less expo when there's less throw and more expo when there's more throw. And if we go into the outputs page, you will see this happening. So we're at our full rates. So you can see a little bit of stick movement has got very little movement here in the outputs. And if I go to the full extent, you can see it goes right away over. Mid rates, 
We've got a little bit more movement in mid stick. And if we go fully over, we're not getting the full throw. And then low rates, you can see the middle stick seems about the same as the mid rates, but we have less overall throw. So there you go, guys. That's how to add rates and expo in Ethos. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe and bell icon to help get this video out to more people. And of course, if someone has a question about how to set this up, please feel free to share this video on social media. It really helps. Thank you very much for watching Fly Models Like You Stole Them. I'll see you on the next one.